What's up you guys? Good morning. My name is Tess. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm an esthetician student and so I thought it'd be fun to show you guys my morning skincare routine and actually to take it a little bit further, my skincare routine if I'm working out that day and if I'm not working out. So kind of two normal daily routines for me. Working out can definitely trigger acne if you're not cleansing your skin properly. One trick is really to definitely make sure you're cleansing your skin right after you work out. And my second little trick to this method is to make sure I'm always using products with kind of a normal pH, so 4.5 to 5.5, and products that aren't going to be too harsh or really strip your skin down if you are cleansing it that much. So just make sure to be using pretty gentle products and stronger products just where you need it. So let's just dive right in. The first step in my skincare routine is making sure I've removed any makeup from the night before. So two products I love are the Caudalie Gentle Cleansing Milk and also the Bioderma Sensi Bio Lay. Another option from the drugstore is the Garnier, not the waterproof, just the regular micellar water if you're looking for a drugstore option i really do like that one as well and using these is going to make sure you don't have any debris or things clogging your follicles and remember every breakout starts with a clogged follicle so we always want to avoid that and hopefully you're doing this step before bed because if you're leaving any dirt or debris on your skin overnight it can actually cause premature aging my second step in the routine is going in with a gentle cleanser. So, and this is the first cleanse. So products I like are the Milky Jelly Cleanser from Glossier. This is really gentle and it has the same ingredients as contact solution. So if you're wearing a lot of eye makeup or have sensitive eyes, this is the product for you. Something really similar is the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Cleanser. These are very, very similar. This one's just a little bit more viscous and thick. And I believe this one's a little bit cheaper and I like them just the same. Another great product if you like an oil cleanser is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. If you are acne prone, you definitely always want to have a second cleanse to make sure you're removing all of that oil. If you have drier skin or normal skin, you can get away with just using this on maybe a morning you are about to work out. You could just use any one of these three cleansers and I would just go from using something like a gentle rose water toner as your first step and then using your first cleanse and then i would really just go into something into a moisturizer which i'll talk a little bit more in depth about in a minute but so for your pre-workout routine i would just do something simple like this now on my every day daily basis maybe after i've worked out or if i'm not working out that day after the first cleanse i will go in for my second cleanse and the two products i love for this are both foaming gel cleansers they're very similar this one is the is clinical cleansing complex shani darden who is a well-known la facialist she works on celebrities like rosie huntington whiteley she really loves this one also jesse james decker's makeup artist her name on youtube is jess southern she loves this as well another option is the special cleansing gel from Dermalogica. <clears throat> i use this on my clients and this is a soap free gel cleanser so it does give you that really satisfying lather without stripping down your skin so again if i'm not working out that day i can use more like treatment products so i would go in with something like the glossier solution this is an aha bha and this has salicylic acid so this can be really great if you're acne prone otherwise it still won't dry you out this one is a glycolic peel this is from pixie you can get it at target urban outfitters and this is a really gentle glycolic peel that you can actually use every day and so i like both of these just for really gentle cell turnover these are awesome and i really prefer an aha bha to a mechanical scrub or anything like that just because those are going to be harsher for me i have some redness in my skin and harsh 
scrubs, harsh scrubs, <laughs> can really bring that out. So that's why these are really two good go-to options for my exfoliant. Okay, so after you've exfoliated, this is basically the prime time to apply your serums. They're going to penetrate deeper since you've cleansed properly and exfoliated properly, and you're probably spending some good money on your serum since those are the most concentrated smallest molecule product so some really good serums i like are for one this caffeine solution this is great for under eye darkness or puffiness some other good options are let's see where my where all my serums at uh, so this is the vitamin C serum from the ordinary as well i like this one and vitamin C will boost the power of your sunscreen. It also has antioxidants, which will protect against free radical damage during the day. So if you're in an area with a lot of pollution, this will kind of provide another second barrier. That's really awesome. And sometimes I like to actually ice roll after I've applied my serums, or I'll do this as the first step in my routine just to make sure they penetrate really deeply. I love doing this in the morning because it totally wakes you up, gets rid of any puffiness. It's a little bit of lymphatic drainage, so it's really great if you've had a lot of salt or wine the night before. So I love doing this. <laughs> and after I've done my serums, Oh, another good option is a hyaluronic acid. Just remember, hyaluronic acid, it's really mainstream now, but it's basically kind of a superficial product. It's only gonna penetrate into the stratum corneum, which is your top layer of skin. So it is gonna moisturize and attract water as a humectant. So it's really good under your moisturizer, but just remember those effects are gonna be kind of temporary. I still love hyaluronic acid in my moisturizer or on its own as a serum or under a mask. It kind of helps to boost the mask. Okay, so now that you've applied your serums, what you wanna do is moisturize. These are two of my favorite moisturizers. One is the Embryo Lease, and this is amazing. You can use it as a moisturizer, a makeup primer, a really moisturizing mask, and it's even safe for babies and kids, so you know it's really gentle. This is very accessible. You can get it at Target or Amazon, anything like that. And then this is the Avene Hydrant's Optimal Reach. If you're looking for a light moisturizer that really does a good job of hydrating, this is perfect for you. Beyonce uses this brand, so obviously I love this brand. And these are just two pretty basic moisturizers that are good for sensitive skin and acne prone skin. Okay, and now the last step in my routine is to use sunscreen. Now, the first option here is a mineral sunscreen from Image, and this has a little bit of a tint in it. It shears out so really any skin color can use it. It's really beautiful and balmy, and it's great um, under makeup or just on its own. Another option is the Dermalogica Solar Defense Booster. This is both a physical and a chemical sunscreen. It's really good for dry skin types like myself. If you're acne prone, it might be a little bit too heavy for you, but I really like this if you're in need of some extra moisturizer. Okay, and my last sunscreen here is the Glossier Invisible Shield. This is ideal if you hate like the typical sunscreens, they're too greasy for you. This goes on really sheer and I love it if I have like a daytime event where I'm going to be wearing makeup. This is a great primer as well. And contrary to, to popular belief, you want to make sure you're wearing SPF under your makeup. If they don't put enough SPF in makeup to kind of be your daily protection. So you want to make sure you do your regular sunscreen and then whatever makeup that has SPF is just kind of like extra credit. Okay, and that is going to be 
it. Thank you guys so much for watching my morning routine. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. It really supports my channel. And let me know if you guys are interested in a nighttime routine. Maybe my favorite retinol will be in there, my favorite mask, maybe some eye care. So let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see that. And I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye. Tell me about your dreams, tell me everything Don't nobody care about your heart like